Oh ho ho ho! Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, fellow League of Legends lovers and enjoyers, welcome back once again. We are here today covering some juicy League of Legends news, or should I say, Hall of Legends. So, we recently, although I'm as always fashionably late to the party, have been granted access into the knowledge of the new Faker Ari skin. And I'm here to talk about it. So, when I first saw this, I first saw this on TikTok, and I thought this was fake. Now, we knew that Ari was coming out. I reacted to Ari before. The new Hall of Legends for League is basically the Hall of Fame, and with the Hall of Fame, they are now adding in a new skin... I don't even want to say line. I guess a new skin... Um. I want to say tier for the people who get inducted into this bullshit. Now, you know, I'm all for commemorating and sucking off the people who deserve it, who really have uh, made League better or more outstanding in one way or another. And obviously, as I've gone over before, Faker is the first one. But, you know, not everything can be good. We always have to have some sort of controversy in the League community. And this is where this one is a little bit interesting. And I'm going to try and go over a little bit of the facets of it, but... Let's get into what is the main issue with this whole fiasco of the Hall of Legends Faker skin. So there's two skins that we know for sure are coming out. A lot of people speculated that because of the trailer, which I reacted to, that there would also be an Azir skin. And as far as I could tell, as of recording this, there is no Azir skin. So there's only two skins. There's Ari and LeBlanc. And apparently, I don't know any information aside from what they say here for certain, but apparently the ari skin was actually requested by faker faker always wanted an ari skin i'm not sure about the leblanc skin but these skins were somewhat curated by faker himself so let's take a look through the little website here and we'll see where things begin to get a little crazy and where my mind basically imploded where my eyes popped out of my head so if we scroll down so again league oh wait, sorry legends and legacies immortalized in the lol esports hall of fame so again, you know, this is all good. We have the Hall of Fame. Obviously, the first person here, the guy they suck off the most, the inductee, right? Who is it? Oh my god, it's Faker. I, you know, and I've said this before in the other video, I truly don't think anyone will be able to do what Faker did in the amount of time. Will they maybe win as many championships as him? Maybe eventually. Like, maybe if someone plays for longer than him, maybe they could oust him as, like, having more championships won. But I think to do what Faker did at the time he did it, and in the limited time that he's had to do it, I think is near impossible. I don't know if anyone can usurp him, because if you play League for 30 years and get five championships, I don't even remember how many Faker has, I think it's at least four. But let's just say you get five championships, or you get six, right? But you've been playing for 30 years. Obviously, at that point, you've ousted Faker. But Faker did it within 10, I believe. I'm actually not too sure about that, but Faker did it within... A smaller time frame which in and of itself is insane like you know faker is for all you know <laughs> for all lessons learned the best player of league of legends at least historically speaking a lot of people like to question if he's still the best now but that's a different conversation from this video but anyway so obviously we have um faker here as the first inductee and that's not really where the controversy occurs and obviously we have the trailer i already saw that i'm pretty sure so here we get our first view at the LeBlanc skin. So here's the main issue, right? First of all, the LeBlanc skin is a 1950. Now, it's not even the LeBlanc skin. It's a pass, right? So apparently there's 100 levels of unlockable rewards, including commemorative skins, icons, and a special callback to the champ that helped start it all, aka LeBlanc. I honestly thought it would be Rise or something, because Faker back in the day, I think he kind of, or one of his starter champions was Rise, but... Either way, they have a pass with a hundred levels. So in terms of value, this honestly has been one of Riot's most valuable things they've ever released. Now it's very themed, right? It's very, very themed, but you're not just getting the LeBlanc skin. Now this is where, I mean, we could watch it here too, right? Let's, let's take a look here how this looks. So is this a legendary themed skin? It kind of, I don't know. Oh, okay, that, that fucking back is pretty cool, but, you know, I'm not sure if this is a legendary themed skin, or tiered skin. Granted, what is legendary anymore, right? But, um, 
even if it's not legendary tiered, you're also getting SKT T1Z, Rise, and Syndra, all champs fakers obviously used. You're getting 125 Mythic Essence, 14 Faker Ific Icons and Emotes, whatever that means, Broccoli Baron Title, Hide on Bush Ward, which is hilarious, Unkillable Demon King Banner, which is really good, and six orbs as well. So for the price of what you're buying, this is actually one of the most valuable things in League for bang for your buck. And you're getting chromas, and obviously those are some of the um, some of the emotes right there on the side. But in terms of value, this is pretty good. Now again, the 1950 price point is a little high, especially if the LeBlanc skin isn't um, up to par for legendary. But you're getting so much shit other than that. I just think it's a little bit of a shame, and I don't actually know if you can buy the LeBlanc skin on its own. And I don't know if this pass ever expires, but as it stands, at least to me, this is pretty fair. This is pretty all right. If you play League, you're going to get through it anyway. So this isn't really the issue. But, you know, 1950, pretty fucking expensive. And, and says and more. So the pass is giving you even more. Again, it's 100 levels. So that's pretty good. Here's where the main controversy comes in. Now, your eyes are not deceiving you. This says 5,430 RP. And when I first saw this, I laughed. I thought it was fake. Now, the skin itself is beautiful. The skin is very nice. And, you know, I would dare say it's near the level of what we should have gotten for the... Um... Oh, God, what tier is it? Fuck. Epic, legendary... Uh... Oh, my God. I'm, like, blanking out on it. It's crazy. Uh, ultimate. It's basically the, I would say, the tier of an ultimate skin. Now, this base form, right? It already comes with a pass. So it has another pass, I think, separate from the Blanc one, which is already ridiculous. But it comes with the skin. It comes with a takedown counter taunt. It obviously comes with the champion if you don't have her. Because imagine you get the skin and you can't even use it because you don't have the champion. That'd be funny. It comes with an exclusive born exclusive icon emote. I don't know what world people live in. I don't know what Riot's trying to do. And you know, th this is the biggest thing with stuff like this. With controversies relating to skins and cosmetics in any game, there will always be the people who come out and say, well, it doesn't affect the gameplay. You can choose to have it. You can choose to not have it. What does it matter? And at the end of the day, they're not fully wrong, right? If you only care about gameplay, sure. But that's not the way the full world works, right? There's a lot of people who care about cosmetics. And in fact, League's whole model is based on cosmetics, so they definitely care too. Now, I don't want to get too far into business practices and models about, you know, what's fair and what's not. However, this is where the more you begin to alienate the common player base, and this is commonly seen with Fortnite. Fortnite is one of the best models, although they have gotten a little bit more greedier as of recent, right, compared to what they used to do. Fortnite is very fair, and their model kind of, for a long time, people either didn't do it right or didn't believe it. But the more free stuff you give away, as long as you also have quality content there that people are willing to buy. But it's my current and common belief that the more you give the player, the more they're going to want to spend because they don't feel nickel and dimed, and they actually feel good. And it's worked with me. I'm a person who's very stringent and penny-pinching when it comes to games, and I don't really spend. But Fortnite, I will spend on just because they're such a good game and they don't make me feel like I'm forced to spend and they make it feel fair. This is where Riot is going in the opposite direction. First, they released the stupid Mythic Chromas for $200, right? And realistically, let's be real. They're Mythic Chromas. They're not new skins. Come on. Now, they have gotten better with them, but the first egregious one was Jin. Like, the fact that those skins are $200 is fucking ridiculous and it's a sham and I hope they rework it. But, you know, they got good data from it, so apparently I don't think they will. But they took it a step further now. Now, if this is going to be the case, right, and we're going to get into the FAQ section below where maybe there's a little bit of hope. But if this is going to be the case for these skins going forward, where now ultimate tiered skins, right, ultimate level skins in my eyes, are not only locked to pro play theme, which it's a little sad to see it's a restrictive theme, but this is still good. It's still a great theme, great colors, great skin. The skin itself is not bad at all. It's the price point that matters here. And the fact that I don't think we're ever going to get an ultimate that is ever going to be good as these skins. Because they know they have to justify the price. Until they don't, right? Because I used to think they thought that with legendaries and ultimates. And then the Samira skin came out. And that was a whole fiasco. That's a glorified legendary dressed up as an ultimate. And there was a lot of controversy and nothing changed. Sadly. 
but now we've come to this new thing here with the Ari skin. So this is just the first version, which is already kind of bad. Now, again, going back to the business practice thing, this is obviously for Wills. It's people who, you know, who support Faker is definitely for them, but it's also for people who are collectionists and for Wills. And Riot is starting to figure out what the gotchas have figured out that Wills can support the community. And I'm pretty sure most of this is for Wills. Now, what does that mean for the common man? We're kind of getting fucked because it's being more catered not to us anymore. Is this, again, at the end of the day, does this matter at all? Not really, but I think it sort of does because a lot of people's perception, especially the general populace, really cares about this stuff. If they feel like they're getting nickeled and dimed, it's going to be a downward slippery slope into what's next. And then, you know, if the game is bad, how forgiving are people going to be? If everything's bad, the game's bad, the cosmetics are bad, <laughs> Overwatch, you know, even though Overwatch isn't dead, ironically enough, there's a lot of bad rap about it, even though it makes stupid money from what I heard. So how much does this really matter? I'm honestly not too sure, because at the end of the day, if you don't main Ari, does this even matter to you? If you don't care about Faker, does this really matter to you? And if you're not a collectionist, does this really matter to you? Absolutely not. But it sets a really, really scary precedent. And I'm not even into the really bad parts yet. So already, this Ari skin, while it is good, I think the price does not justify it at all. You get way more in the LeBlanc skin for the price here than you do for this Ari skin. And now here's the kicker. So I believe from what I heard, this is, I think, a $200 or $300 Ari skin. I'm actually not sure of the pricing, but it's, I believe, more than the Mythic Essence fucking chromas that they released, right? It's I believe it's at least, if not more money than those, because this is a ridiculous amount of RP, right? But this is nothing compared to the immortalized one. This, I think, is $500, I, I believe. I've had this amount of RP, I think, in total in my entire lifetime in League. I may, I might hit this amount. So here's the big question, right? You obviously will get this if you're any normal person and you're willing to whale for R if you're an R main sure, right? It's, it's very expensive. It's one of the most expensive skins, I think, in League to date until we look at the next one. But it's like the only thing I can remember that's higher than this was the stupid April Fool's Draven Draven skin, which was heavily discounted because, you know, again, it's like a 750, 975 at best, right? Uh, excuse me, and it was for April Fool's. Ultimates don't get this high. Now granted, I don't know how the base skin is, so let's take a look here, right? Obviously the animations look good, the abilities look good, but this isn't what they're trying to sell you on. And obviously the back looks pretty good too. Oh, wow, look, you have a little kill counter, too. You stat track. Wow. Oh, it upgrades. Wow. I mean, again, the skin looks really, really good, but it's like, it's not worth this price. Oh, look, they showed the emote, too. Wow. There's the back. The back is pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's showing all of Faker's championships, so I believe it's four. Noise. I wonder if that updates if he wins another one. But yeah, so that's Risen. Not terrible, but for the price, it kind of is. Here's the kicker, though. So this is the next tier up. She looks very angelic. You know, this skin does look better, right? It looks better than this one. This one, she's looking at the crown. This one, she actually is holding the crown, and her dogs have, like, awakened, I guess. But this is where here's what it comes with, right? And there's a lot of bells and whistles to this. This is, again, where I would expect this, and I think this should be the standard for ultimate skins. But now they're taking what an ultimate skin should be and pricing it, like, 500 fucking dollars, which is crazy. So what does this come with? This comes with the Ari skin, exclusive structure finisher, exclusive champ finisher, which some of the ultimates did have, but none of the ultimates had this, right? This could have been unique to this skin because every ultimate has to have a gimmick. This could have been its gimmick. It has a structure finisher. It has a custom visual announcer. I don't even know what that means. It could be similar to Caitlyn, one of the legendary Caitlyn skins when you ult it has like a different visor or whatever, but who knows, right? It has transformations, which they said they didn't want to do because it's overloading the game, right? So again, do they not want to do it? Did they get better with the tech or do they just want to take our money? Who knows? So there's three Demon King forms with unique VO, which is insane. Demon's chosen transformation with Demon King HUD during alt. And then you get Risen Legend Collection, which I have no clue what that is. You get holographic immortalized splash art. Dynamic profile background, immortalized border, and an exclusive icon and emote. 
they do give you a lot but again is it worth 500 to me and to most people i think hell no and again it's so sad because this skin looks like a great skin and we're going to look at some of the bells and whistles here so here we're going to see the uh the tower getting knocked down oh ari transformed also very good again this should have been an ultimate it's so fucking sad man transforms nice Like, look at how crazy this shit looks. This is ridiculous. And then I think it shares the same back as the other one, which is kind of ass, but it is what it is. The dogs do look different, though. Like, the skin looks really fucking good. It kind of reminds me of Karma, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of looks a little bit like Karma's skins because of the, uh, the thing floating above her. But this is just ridiculous, right? Again, these are all great things that should have been the standard for an ultimate skin, but... I don't know how many people are going to buy this. People will buy this. That's the thing people might not know. There will be people out there that will buy this. Will it be enough? Who knows, right? If you have 50,000 people buying something for $5, but five people buying something for $5 million, the five people are going to support the game a lot better than the 50,000. So, you know, it's a give and take. I honestly think... For the amount of work they put in, they might get their money's worth just because they're attaching Faker to it. I don't know if it's going to happen after this. If this has any sort of chance of succeeding whatsoever, it's going to be because Faker's name is attached to this. But we're not even done yet, right? Already, we're getting regular players are getting slapped in the face because we're never going to get a skin this good again for any modest, reasonable price that the everyday man can afford in this economy, right? Then we have the signature one. Look at this bullshit. If this wasn't enough, if 32,000 RP was enough, this is 60k. I, I, I swear to God, I'm going to say it again. I'm not joking. When I saw these prices, I thought it was April Fool's. I thought I was getting trolled. I was getting punked. But it's true, because this is on the official League website. So, with this one, you only get a little bit extra stuff. Again, already, I don't think... If you were ever going to justify anything... The first one would be the easiest to justify, the the Risen one. The Immortalized one is fucking ridiculously not worth it at all. And then the Signature one is like... Let, let me not say something that's going to get me banned. It's, it's beyond ridiculous stuff. But what do you get with this one? You get the skin upgrade. So if you control 5, you have a little faker emote above you. You have his structure finisher, which I thought was in this one. Was it not in this one? It's an exclusive finisher VFX, but I guess this one is, is better. You have Faker's one. Oh, no, I know what this one is. It's when he signs his name on it, so that's about it. Uh, you have the final boss Faker title, the immortalized border, the signature banner, the signature splash art, Ari and LeBlanc. So you have to play for the splash art now, too. You have 100 pass levels. I don't know if that's the same as a Blanc shit. I hope it's different. Risen Legend LeBlanc Paragon Chroma. Oh, so you get the Chroma for LeBlanc with this one, too. Okay, so it probably just comes with the LeBlanc plus pass as well which should not really add that much to the price because I don't understand how they're justifying 32 to 59,000 if this is only 1950, unless it's an entirely different pass, but it doesn't seem like it is. But you're also getting more chromas and you're getting exclusive icon in mode. Like, what is there even to say? This is ridiculous. If they keep going with this shit, again, the only reason they can maybe get away with this is Faker. After this, there's no way. I don't think any other pro can carry something this fucking hard and of course it's already to get the skin you know whoop they do another fucking ari skin right add it to the collection we're general grievous at this point but it's like bro who is going to buy this this is such a slippery slope and riot is really showcasing their read i don't know if it's tencent from what i heard tencent really just lets riot take the reins but maybe they haven't been meeting their quota, so, you know, they gotta do this. But this is where you have to question, is this funding all the other good free stuff in the game, right? Will this fund the new summer game mode? Because already we have Arena, which has been a slam hit. And the new summer PvE game mode might be another slam hit. And again, at the end of the day, this is fully cosmetic, but this doesn't bode well for the cosmetic people, which is almost everyone. If you play League, there's a very, very vast minority of people who only care about gameplay a lot of people me included care about skins as well as gameplay we like to flex we like to show off it's in our human nature so the fact that this is what's becoming cosmetics and it's becoming even more unreachable and asinine 
or sorry, unreachable, and ask nine for um the common layman like me and everyone else, like we're just gonna feel alienated and this is gonna feel like shit. And the worst part is it's not in the loop pool. So just to go over a little bit of a of a Q and A here, and this is the event trailer. So I'm kind of curious. So we saw this, we didn't see this. What is this? This is about a minute. So let's let's watch this real quick. So here we have Faker mewing us. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna see the end game. Oh, there's the Ari skin. What we do? This looks like fucking shit. Here we go. Now it looks better. So we can see there's custom kill animations. That's the block. It really does not look like a legendary. I don't think this block skin is legendary, which sucks ass. See, the pass is pretty good. I might honestly just buy the pass because I think there's orbs in this, even though I don't want the SKT skins. Wow, like, are they really trying to sell us on those? There's no way. The broccoli one is kind of funny, though. The rise one is good. The bush one? The bush board is good, but again... You know, honestly, for, the pass is the only thing I can justify in this. Even though it's themed for things that I don't like, it's still a really good pass. Now, this is the fucking garbage. Oh my god. Ugh. Like, if you see someone with this skin, I fully believe they will get made fun of. It is not a flex holding this skin, it is a, like, tragedy. That Zed is trolling and inting. So here's Ari's in her final form. I don't think this is in the regular skin, but I'm honestly not sure. Oh, look, he's mewing. That is a really cool thing, though. See, these are all cool things. If the price wasn't an arm, a leg, and your firstborn. It's so sad, man. It really is sad. Then this shit looks heavy. Ooh. Shit looked lighter. Oh, Ari's viewing too! Oh, wow. Oh, look, Faker sounding his name. So yeah, the pass is 99%, I'm sure, shared between both the, the LeBlanc and the Ari Giga Bundle. So now let's go into the frequently asked questions. So I kind of researched these beforehand, but essentially, we'll get to the important ones, right? So this is the beginning is like, when will it be? This is a limited time thing, so it's not going to be here always, right? So that's also introducing FOMO. So if you don't get it now, you, you're you going to have to wait, which is going to push even more people to make this terrible, terrible purchase. And you know, everything is subjective to everyone, but IMO, this is a terrible purchase because if you're supporting this kind of shit, it's really bad. And some of the proceeds do go to the person, right? Some of this, and you know, they're not really direct on how much of it goes exactly to the person because it says some low esports teams will receive 30% as well as the inductee. So what's the split between the team and the person? Now, obviously, Faker doesn't really need any more money, but anyone who says that kind of logic or arguing is taking away the fact that this is a principled stance of, is this a right thing to do, regardless if the person is rich or not? And I don't want to get into that can of worms, but, you know, let's just leave that there. We don't know how much is actually going to the player, even if they're rich or not. So this is the, the biggest one here, where I'm, like, really scared of, right? So this is where they're doing a whole little in-game custom event. You know, it's not a huge event like the summer event, but it's kind of a little event here to honor Faker and to introduce this whole hullabaloo highway robbery to us, right? Now, they're basically saying, like, you know, they want this to be very uh, good. It's obviously for us. They want us to feel like we're valued and we're not getting robbed. And this is where they're saying, you know, they're kind of doing this as a test run, right? This is where they don't know how they're going to do it in the future. They're kind of seeing how we're going to react to this. And I hope we react badly because this should not be the new standard. But, um, you know, they're basically saying this is for the whales, right? These versions are meant to be highly commemorative with never before implemented features that we can't wait to see hit on the Rift. But not for the Samira Ultimate. Oh, no, no. Right? So this is for those looking to flex their fandom, right? So let's see. Uh, they also say something about collectionists, but I forgot where it was. Uh, I don't see it here, but either way. So, will I ever be able to purchase this again? They will come out eventually again. Wait, wait, actually, hold on. And all the company... Uh... At current, this content is meant to be available for a limited time only, and there are no plans to bring these cosmetics back. Likewise, and this is the sad part, There, I mean, it makes sense, too. There's no plans to add the Hall of Legends cosmetics to the loot pools, including Ruel's. I honestly believe there is no way they put this much time and effort into this if they've only been putting it out for one time. There's no way. I really, really think that 
They're just saying this is a tactic and they're going to bring it back maybe in a year or two, right? For some like big worlds event, maybe when Faker retires or something. But I don't believe they will only have this out one time. There's no way. And, um, you know, obviously you can't refund it because they want to steal your money. But yeah, this is basically for the whales. I forgot where they said it, but it's for collectionists, as they said. They know this is not for the common person. If the common person buys this, they're going into debt. But yeah, no, I just wanted to cover this. And I, I kind of wanted to pose the, the question, right? The main thing is, at the end of the day, again, this is cosmetic. It's not changing gameplay. And Riot can take anything cosmetic because it doesn't alter gameplay and price it whatever they want. But... This does really change the sentiment of the player base, of the general player base too, especially when you have things and you've been trying to put things in, like the loot pool system, the chess system, and all this other stuff, to kind of make it feel like, you know, people who are free to play aren't alienated and aren't left out, that we have something to grasp for, and we still do. But overall, I feel like the general quality of skins has been going down, and it feels like a rich versus poor thing now, where it's like, if we're not rich, we can't actually get good skins anymore, and if we're poor, the skins that used to be good, the tiers that used to be good, legendary and ultimate are not as good as you know they're not as good anymore so it's a weird thing you know does this matter do people care i mean a lot of the league community at least the ones online that are vocal about it have not liked this and i think for right reason but at the end of the day does this matter to people you know does this matter at all because it is purely cosmetic and i you know my opinion is no but i'd love to hear other people's opinion on it but i just wanted to cover this controversy this drama and uh you know say my my two piece my opinions and uh, also mention my Twitch channel, Twitch TV says so Techno Channel. But I will obviously not be buying the skin. It's not for an AD. If it was for an AD, I probably still would not buy it. I hope. I honestly don't know. If they release something like this for Jin or Jinx or something, or Kogma, God forbid, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> so, you know, there is a big fear of missing out, and people do really want to support Faker, and they also are collectionists and don't want to miss out on this very very nice art skin because again the skin is nice it has a lot of things but these are things they should add in the game again to the other skin tiers and just in general and not have it be priced this out but anyway that's my two cents i hope everyone enjoyed that's about it come watch me stream at twitch tv channel Eee!